Hey gang, we're actually going to do a mower repair. Some of you may remember I put together a Murray for my neighbor. He keeps it real clean, can you tell? <laughs> um, he went around the tree, put it in reverse, and it just stopped going anywhere. And of course, he gave me a call to see what was going on with it. One, he desperately needs a bath, but beyond it needing a bath, I thought maybe the hydro was out. Well, hydro is not out. If we look here, got the flashlight on the drive belt, but if we look right there where I'm flashing the light, drive belt supposed to go around that idler pulley which is M-I-A missing in action so pretty easy repair all I need to do is to come over to my box of goodies that I keep handy with all of a bunch of idler pulleys and different things there and find me an idler pulley and slap it on there. Some of the repairs are easy, some of the repairs are difficult. But while it's in here, uh, he's had it for going on two seasons, two complete seasons now. We'll go ahead and service it. With all the dust that's on it, I can only assume that the air filter is probably in need of replacing and of course an oil change. And uh, this one I do not believe. Yeah, no oil filter on this one, so. We'll go through and just check it out. It's nothing new and nothing uh, spectacular that I really need to show you guys, but um, I will certainly show you guys the idler pulley replacement. I am not sure what size idler pulley I'm going to need, but I guess we will find out by trial and error, and we'll do that together. So you guys stay tuned. I'll light that area up right there a little better for you and fix the camera so you're not seeing a bunch of moving around and we'll get to it so stay tuned yeah we got a little bit of light on the subject and got the camera sitting static so first order of business obviously we need to remove what's left of the old and that's not a 9 16ths must be a 5 8 and I've had people ask me, what's up with the blue Craftsman ratcheting wrenches? Well, um, Sears, in all of their infinite wisdom, decided that they were going to do a special edition switchable wrench. And they did not go over well. Uh, a lot of the, us tool guys, we like our tools to match. Well, they did not have total and complete blue sets of tools. They had these in standard and in metric. And since they did not do well, did I grab the wrong one? No. What's up? Is it 9 sixteenths and I just didn't hold my tongue right? Huh. Yep. I was right the first time. Um, so, as the story goes, the uh, blue didn't fly well. And since the blue didn't fly well, <clears throat> they had a hard time getting rid of them, so they put them on clearance. But it was originally a set that was uh, $89, I believe it was. And I'll count how many pieces were in the set when I and finished right here for you guys but I only paid 30 bucks for the set and I should have they had three sets there I should have went ahead and bought uh, two sets because as it turns out this was the first set I had ever purchased and I didn't realize just how much I really really liked these guys so let's show you here what's left. We have 
a thrust type washer. No, that's part of that's part of that's plastic. That's part of the uh, bearing seal. Then we have the inner bearing. What they call that? The race inner bearing race and a spacer. The spacer is still hanging on down there. Go ahead and pop that off. No, it's not going to pop off. No, nope, that's a shoulder bolt. And that is a permanent fixture. So another thing that we need to do is to figure out whether it was a V pulley or if it was a standard pulley. I'm counting wrenches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It was an eight piece set. So anyway, for 30 bucks, I thought why not? I should have went ahead and got the second set uh, because like I say, I now have four sets uh, one for each of the trucks Clifford and Old Blue one for the um, oh and two sets here in uh, Big Red but alright now it's time to figure out I can only assume once I depress the clutch but that would need to be a V-type pulley, and it's not a very large diameter one. So I'm going to measure across here real quick, and we'll see what we have in the way of distance. I'm really organized today. There it is. I knew I had a little... Ouch! that hurt a little machinist scale here looks like a two and a half inch possibly a three inch pulley so if I can hold my tongue right and get that down there to get a measurement oh well, my hands gonna be in the way you guys aren't gonna be able to see it but I'll let you know what it is inch and a half yeah it's a three inch pulley so I'm gonna dig through my Pulleys, see if I've got a three and a half inch that has the same ID and also the same shoulder length because some of the inner races have an extended shoulder on them. So I'm going to dig through the ones that I've got, see if I happen to get lucky and find one that I need. If not, we'll have to make a trip and go get the right one. But as many of these as come in and get tore down, that still have good idler pulleys on them I should be able to come up with what's needed so give, give me a minute we'll dig through and see what we can find this is why I don't throw stuff away if it's good why get rid of it right okay well that one's too short that's a two and a half inch. We need a three inch, and it's not a V groove. But there is a three inch, but it's not a V groove. Dig, dig, dig. Too big, too big, too big, too big. Too big. Not an idler. Way too fat. And not a V groove. And not a V groove. 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 Boy, it's a tiny little one right there. Huh. Itty bitty. Okay. Oh, strike one in that box. How do you like my organizational skills? Kind of non existent as far as this goes. You see a neat and tidy toolbox, and then when it comes to silly stuff like this all right belt guard way too big but it is a vigor that is too deep it's a three inch so if need be I could use that one but I'd have to uh, shorten that so we'll keep looking that's a three and a half three and a half Three and a half with way too big a hole. Not a V groove and 
it's a three inch three inch three and a half shoulders a little too tall hey three inch shoulders a little bit too tall but let's see what we can do about that we may be in business and that is a v-groove pulley figures it was the absolute last one in the box because everything else in the box is fixed pulleys oh nope, there's another one hey same size hole diameter is too big but i can put a shim i can put a uh, spacer in there all right so we have two options so let's see which option we're going to end up using once we get down to the nitty-gritty here all right. let me get all, all this stuff tossed back in we're just going to quickly test fit remind me of a joke this gal got hired on at uh old gal got hired on at a toy factory and Elmo's coming down the line. She was told uh, sit at this inspection station and here's the job that you need to do. And so she's sitting there and she brought her own little sewing kit. Took that sewing kit with her. Sat down and proceeded to sew two buttons onto Elmo. And she was the bottleneck of the entire operation. And she's sewing these two buttons on Elmo. Every one of them. She's going as fast as she can. But no matter what she does, it, things are just not flowing. So it doesn't take very long at all. Here comes a supervisor. Supervisor comes up and goes, Ma'am, what exactly are you doing? And she goes, I'm doing exactly what you told me, Sonny. You told me to give these things two testicles, and I'm giving them two testicles each, but I sure can't keep up with the flow. Supervisor said, not two testicles, two test tickles. Ha, ha, ha. Hope you guys like that one. Stay tuned. Let's see what we can get done with this. Okay, gang, what I decided to do is just take the bracket off. Makes it a little easier. And come to find out, that diameter is too small. So, wah, wah. Can't use that one. And the one that I thought that had too big of a hole, that one right there. Like a glove. That's why I keep all my pulleys. You get a mower that comes in and it's just full of nastiness. And even if this was the only part that I was able to salvage off that mower, that part just put that guy back in business. So now all I have to do is just bolt things back together And we're off and running to the races. Just that quick and easy. I'll get that bolted back in and we'll give it a test run and see how it does. I guess I can walk you guys through it. So let me get the camera repositioned. Sit tight. I'll be right back. Alright, to explain why I okay, to explain why I took that bracket off, there was no way to get the pulley on because it is right it's mounted right above you can see the hole there and then the other hole right here where that bracket was so it was much easier just to drop those two half inch uh, self-tapping bolts out and redo it so putting it back in is just going to be the reverse only now we have to thread the belt 
which is over here and this might not be the best perspective for you guys hang on let me move the camera all right now you guys can see a little better you can see hole number one and hole number two and that's where the holes are that bracket will go back in i need to make sure that the belt guard which you can see right there wait a minute right there right there <laughs> is uh to the outside of the tractor so it essentially goes just like that so we've got our belt right here we're going to slip our belt on to the pulley and then slide the pulley onto the bracket and then tighten it down my in view pretty much let me get down here a little bit further you guys can see it a little better that pulley there's the bracket now i will set the pulley over the bracket and tighten the nut down to get this lined back up with its home way down here get a bolt in there Changing sockets, getting my bolts, moving my knee pad, and moving my whole body down a little bit. I'm flying blind. You guys able to see where I'm going? Can you see where I need to go? I have to feel my way around, I guess. There's a joke in there somewhere. So we've got it all done. We're going to set her back down on the ground, start her up, and see if she's going to move under her own power. So I'll see you guys in just a minute. Heading down. Oh, let's see what happens. Freebie, it's a 46 inch cut. This is the one that had that 16 horse opposed twin in it that uh, blew up. Look, it pooped on my floor. It had that 16 horse opposed twin that lost a magnet off of the. Oh, that's not going to work. Come on, get up there. I guess I'll just duck down. Had that. 16 or supposed twin that lost the magnet on the flywheel that bent the top of the flywheel or bent the top of the crankshaft so then I just threw a 14 and a half horse Briggs in it and it runs that 46 inch deck just fine so I'm going to go through finish up clean it up and get it back over to the owner uh, to the neighbor and they tried to give it back to me here not too long ago because uh, Randy had picked up a that has got a bushing in it I'm going to press that bushing out and keep it. That's the Rick bearing race. Um, he picked up a cheap snapper rider, a front engine snapper rider, or a Toro, one of the two. Picked it up pretty inexpensively. 
and said, here, you can have yours back. And I said, my what? He goes, your riding mower. I said, it's not mine, it's yours. I gave it to you. Sell that one if you want to and keep the money. So I put that together for you. I suppose I could just do this. Duh. I've got a new clamp and I got it directly from GoPro instead of using my other one. And it's really short. And I kind of like that it's short. But I like the clamp a lot better because it opens up a lot wider. Always doing stuff to make it easier to shoot the videos for you guys. Alright, this may be a slightly long one, but you guys haven't had a repair video from me for a while. So I wanted to give you guys a repair video. Uh, Randy also has, his uh, mother has two riding mowers and both are down and out. So next Saturday I'll be going out to assist with getting those going seeing what's wrong with them. Hopefully it's just minor stuff. Um, but that takes care of that. That was an easy enough repair and that's why I keep parts. That's why when I get something in I strip it down and keep anything and everything that could possibly be useful. And idler pulleys, they are not a dime a dozen. They are not cheap. You're going to pay 15 to 25 dollars for an idler pulley just on a regular you know, run of the mill, Murray or MTD or AYP, you know, but you get into the higher end ones, you're going to pay a lot more than that. So I had one on a uh, Skag and they wanted you know, $110 for an idler pulley, but it was a Skag specific idler pulley. Nuts. But guess what? I had one. Not from a Skag but I made it work. Save the customer a boatload of money. That's why I keep them. So I can save people money. Alright, that's it. Friendly Neighborhood Zippo. You guys finally got a repair video out of me. No issues. So, alright, that's it. Friendly Neighborhood Zippo. If you liked this, please hit the thumbs up button for me. If this is your first time stopping by, please consider subscribing. Friendly Neighborhood Zippo. I will see you guys on the next one. I'm out of here.